Twitter page comes into my mind when you ask that question. Uh, but think of Sambas as um, a geospatial company which has set affiliations and franchises that support spatial knowledge and information dissemination. Um, I use the example generally of utility networks. So we all want electricity, we all want water, but how do we effectively get that water or electricity to you, the customer? Because you pay for a value a service and you must get it at all times and get it well. Um, so when I think of what Sambos, the value Sambos adds to such an institution, I think of the fact that, okay, so the electricity company wants to know where all their network lines are, right? They want to know the amount of power or water flowing through these systems. They want to know when there's a leakage, a shortage or anything on the systems. They want to know it on a geographical platform that gives them real time information. They want to know this so that they can quickly resolve it and make sure that your water or your electricity doesn't go off. This is what we bring. Reminds me of my father because he started the business. Um, registered it 35 years ago, May 1987. Um, and now we have offices in Ghana, Accra. We have an office in Kumasi, Ghana. Um, we have an office in Abuja. Um, we've started an office in Kanu, and we're this year starting an office in Lagos. I think of these five branches, and I'm proud of where we are 35 years. Thinking of in the next five years setting up Liberia, Gambia, and Gabon, hopefully. So we have systems and structures. We have data collection devices. We have um, softwares that do the analytics at the back end. We have tracking systems. We have sensors. We have all these feeding into a whole system that allows you to sit at your desk and see all this. That is our work <laughs> and we do it very well. If you look back at the founder's background, you'd realize that he, he at, at a very young age, he won, he was the best SAT candidate in Ghana. Um, he won a full scholarship to Princeton. While in Princeton, he made very valuable networks. And in that networks, one of the key determinants was technology for him. So he came back to Ghana with a mindset that he was going to make Ghana very technologically advanced. That was 35 years ago. Um, he started off by going into high core, um, what we call IT systems. And then along the way, he stumbled upon this. And he thought, okay, this is a great way. I mean, this is where, this is how come you can see um, maybe a road in the U.S. being constructed in this angle. Because somebody has done the analytics and realized that the traffic in this area requires that we construct a road on this area to manage that traffic. And that can only be done on a map. And the map cannot be analog. It has to be digital. So this is where it started from. He had some few friends, he partnered with them, brought some on board as partners, and then this is where we stand now. And it's, it's very beautiful because now it's more needed than ever. <laughs> I mean, over, over then when he started, I remember there were comments when I joined the business that the first 10 years they didn't do anything in this area. Because of course, nobody understood what was happening. But now people have an, a sense of understanding. We were at one of our customers' place yesterday and they had done such brilliant work with, with, with the systems that we had given them. We were all amazed um, to know that, for instance, in Lagos, we all understand the challenge of utility and the, how this can support it. And they are very ready to embrace and work with us. So this is something that, for us, it brought us joy. Not just the business value, but the fact that we can actually help solve this problem. And, and, and there's nothing better than that. Oh, when you say size of the market, um, I come to a point to say that every industry needs this. So it's the whole world. I mean, it's the whole West Africa needs this. Um, we play in oil and gas. We play in agriculture. We have a big customer coming up wondering how much fertilizer they should give to their farmers. 
how much that fertilizer should yield for them and they want to know real time whether these fertilizers are being applied well and how the, the fields are being managed so that they can get their, their, their results back. This is cocoa. So you know how valuable cocoa is. So that's a customer. Um, we work with, like I said, utility. We work with gas. We work with um, intelligence, defense, because they want to know the security concerns in this country and other countries. We work with Navy. We work with all of them. So there's no industry that we do not play in because you do want to know what is happening in, in every context on the data side. So yeah, we play everywhere. So I won't give us a size. I'll say we don't have any limits. We're everywhere. And we're serving all industries. In fact, we have eight strong industries. We have the defense as a strong one. We have oil and gas as a very strong one. Like I said, utility is also a very strong one. Um, we have natural resources where we tip into um, agri and oil and gas. Um, we also have commercial, the banks are embracing it. Um, we also have um, NGOs, a very strong key area um, because they are handling most of the insurgencies and other things. So it's quite, I'm happy when I see them come on board. We also have a huge student population. We have Unilag, we have Abuja, we have um, we have Covenant, we have, we have so many other universities and for me that me makes my work easier because when the next generation taps into it they will lead the journey for us. Mm -hmm.